Now there's one park that has never been open because of funding. Kronkowski State Natural Area just northwest of San Antonio. And that brings us to a series we feature exclusively here at 9, Spree Thoughts. This segment normally airs on Fridays, but Steve Spreester is making a special appearance here tonight. Spree Thoughts, these are the things that spark your curiosity. Yeah. They are all over the map. But tonight you're on the trail talking parks and taxes. Yeah, and the story that Sarah did sparked my curiosity. You know, the Kronkowski name is familiar. They're a very charitable organization, the Kronkowski Foundation. Well, it's actually tonight a tale of trails, some through state parks and some that lead right to the state capitol. Those are money trails. And they converge at a place not far from San Antonio. In Kendall County, as you said, there is a state wildlife area that was donated in 2011 but has never opened to the public. It's a park that is parked. You ever have a friend or a sibling that asks to borrow money and then they never pay you back? That's kind of what's happening with Texas Parks and Wildlife and the state legislature. They're the ones that keep borrowing money. Lawmakers keep taking money from the state park fund to pay for other things and parks like the Albert and Bessie Kronkowski State Natural Area in Kendall County get shortchanged. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is just quintessential hill country, rolling hills. It's it's a it's a gorgeous piece of property. Just beautiful. It looks great. I've never been there. As a matter of fact, few people have. Carolyn Chipman Evans is one of the few people who has actually seen the Kronkowski Natural Area. She's currently the CEO of the Cibolo Nature Center in Bernie. But way back when, she was actually one of the people that pushed to have the more than 3,800 acres of land that used to be the Kronkowski Ranch donated to the state of Texas. Even though um, Parks and Wildlife still didn't have a lot of money to make it into anything, they knew that it was so valuable potentially in the future that, that they took it. And there's the rub. Parks and Wildlife has the land, but not enough money for things like roads, bathrooms, basic infrastructure that you need in parks. Kronkowski Park is a beautiful place caught in an ugly situation. Carolyn says state parks that are open are very popular in Texas. As a matter of fact, they're being overrun. People are dying for land and Texas has one of the smallest percentages of public land available to any state in the nation and we can't manage the land we have, much less open up new parks with the inconsistent funding that's currently um, happening to parks and wildlife. But as you just heard Sarah Acosta explain, there is a movement to make sure Texas Parks and Wildlife get consistent funding. The state sporting goods sales tax was supposed to be just for parks. A new state constitutional amendment would make that mandatory. It could not be rated for other things. Again, the vote is in November. The amendment is Proposition 5. All right, so Myra, what did I learn in this tale of trails? Well, just because the state has land for a park doesn't mean the park will open anytime soon. That voters will get to decide if they think parks should be a priority in the state. And that Albert and Bessie Kronkowski were generous with their gifts to charities. The Kronkowski Foundation, a huge part of South Texas. It seems a shame their generous gift of land still sits behind a locked gate. It really is because those pictures are so beautiful. We'd yeah. all like to get to experience it. So what are the latest plans for this park right now? Well, an, an open land like that in Kendall County? Rare. Very rare, yeah. So it's mainly going to be for hiking and day trips. It won't be developed for camping in part because to maintain its integrity as a natural area and keep it looking the way it is. As for a timeline, still a few years away. If all goes as planned, the Albert and Bessie Kronkowski State Natural Area will open sometime in 2022. Even the state website says they hope to have it open by then. 2022. To be determined. Yeah. All right. As always, thanks for your thoughts. Thanks, Myra. We know Steve isn't the only one with questions, so if you have a San Antonio question that you would like us to answer, we want to hear it. Right now on KSAT.com, we have a page where you can ask us what you want to know about anything. We'll do our very best to get you those answers. Just go to our website and click on the San Antonio questions section under the News tab.